West Pokot and Nurses Union branch leaders have challenged the decision by the county's public service board to dismiss nurses who participated in the just concluded nurses strike. The union's branch officials have now threatened to paralyze services at hospitals until those fired are reinstated. In the county ambaye meonyesha niya kama hii kwa wafanyikasi wake. Na kwa hile inaitua uh, industrial relations ya mfanyikasi na mwajiri eh, tumeonekana kuwa tuko katika ile county wanasema hostile county kwa sababu hakuna county imefanya mambo kama haya ambayo yamefanyika hapa West Pokot Meanwhile the government is in the process of constructing four specialized cancer centers in Mombasa Nakuru Nyeri and Kisi The move is aimed at reducing the burden of access and to reduce cancer deaths We have equipped uh, 10 chemo centers uh, across the country uh, with chemo drugs, with chemo chairs and all the equipment so that people can be able, those who have been diagnosed to have cancer, will be able to access treatment at the periphery. Not going to Kenyatta, not going to MTRH, uh, Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital. Elsewhere, residents in Samburu County have decried the poor state of roads and lack of enough water in the county. The locals are demanding the construction of water dams and modern roads to be included in the National Development Program for Vision 2030. Tunayesataka barabara ile safi maji pia na iwe tupate maji kwa sababu ni kidogo na tena maendeleo mingi sana hata biashara barabara pia na tunataka iendelee kama ile makaunti zingine and over 30 families have been left homeless after a huge fire gutted down their houses in Rumuruti town like Ipia county <laughs> The fire broke out at around 9.30 p.m. from one of the timber houses. No casualties were reported, but nothing was salvaged from the angry flames. Unaomba usaidisi kwa kila mtu. Abaya atakuwa na usaidisi. Asaidia hii famili, hizi familia zimeasho. Kwa sababu tumechomekewa na kila kitu. Maplotika matatu hivi. Imechomeka yote ikaisha. And finally, Kilifi County Governor Amazon Kingi has faulted the manner in which the 7.2 billion shillings Galana Kulalu food security project was being implemented. Kingi termed the project as scam, citing lack of participation of the counties involved. Today, if you go to Galana Kulalu, uh, you'll be moved uh, to tears. Uh, I had hoped that uh, a partnership will have been, you know, uh, been built between the county government and the uh, and the national government on how best we would uh, manage uh, Galana Kulalu, but uh, the county government, of course, was left in the uh, in the dark. For Channel One News, I'm Safin Aching Oma.